rumors spread around in that Texas town. Right the shack outside the game. You know what I'm talking about. From Lyft. From Lyft Safety. They don't sponsor us, but they could. So. There we go. Now I've hit the right button. Perfect. But I didn't even, I couldn't see you because you're basically gone. I'll try to figure out where to look. I just see a floating camera. Well, it's done, finally. 06, Peterbilt. The tow truck, the Pete, the tater tot, the 16 ton Holmes 600R. Finally got it done. It's uh, painted, floated up. It's now dirty because we've been out on the road using it, thank God. So six inch smoke stacks, cause you can't, uh, you can't have a Peterbilt without a set of stacks. Uh, got the inside all tidied up. You know, you gotta have a cell phone core, uh, charger that matches the tow truck. One can't be complete without a matching jacket and a hard hat from Lyft. So Lyft, if you ever decide to watch our video for some reason, we use your stuff. New grab handles for service brakes and parking brakes. Got some uh, Peterbilt floor mats in here. I think we want to mount a CB or something up there. Interior, kind of boring. I mean, just your regular Peterbilt cab. All the logos are done. Uh, they did a Really nice job wrapping it and everything. They actually did this is all a printed wrap, which is pretty cool. Obviously we wanted something different. So they ended up printing, you know, a giant piece of vinyl and going all the way down this thing. It came out pretty cool. We'll show you this cabinet first. We've got it organized pretty well right now. Winter gear. All of our chains are hanging on this side. So we ended up going like frame chains, our safety chains, axle chains, our wheel grids, they're on stands, so those are secured in there nicely. We've got broom handle up in here, grease. We have our oversized load, flags, axle caps and gaskets for when we pull axles. That way we're not spraying grease everywhere. Wheel chocks. We have some ITI ramps to set the front wheels on so you don't have to double pick every vehicle. A uh, 12 foot ladder. That way if we need to recover, you know, a container or flip something back over, we're able to get up and over the vehicle we are working on. Light bar, this is a backup. We do run wireless tow mates on this. So we have that capability, but legally you're supposed to have a set of backups that are wired. So we got old trusty in there. That one is that. Going back to the next door. We've got all of our frame forks, all of our attachments in here for lifting off of leaf springs, our elevated fork holders. We have the normal, obviously, fork holders that go on the crossbar. All the powder coat came out really cool. Looks really good in the sun. Obviously, everything's kind of getting scratched up now that's being used, but yeah, came out awesome. We rhino lined to the inside of all these boxes. This one's full of our recovery stuff. We've got 26,000 pound straps. These are all 20 footers, uh, endless loops. Those are 30,000 pounders. And then we've got our, all of our lift all straps. These are all 8,400 pound vertical and 16.8 in a basket. So everything is specced out to be able to use on the rotating boom. That's a 12,000 pound fully extended and 32,000 pounds fully retracted. We wanted to make sure when the boom was fully extended, we weren't gonna be our our weak link is gonna be the truck, not any of our straps or recovery equipment. So that came out really nice. That all was able to get organized the way we wanted. This one here, we are still working on. We've got actually new aluminum panels. We're fabbing up for all this. We're gonna clean all this up, get rid of the red. PB blaster, we've got gloves back here and then a first aid kit on this side. We got headlamp hanging on the back over there. A few little nitpicky items we still wanna go back through. But like I said, we're rebuilding the panel. All of this is gonna be aluminum and then we're putting all new labeling and everything on there. Coming around to the back, we still have our wheel grids, all of our spoons. We've got 4,000 pound pair and the 6,000 pound pair. So we got a 50 foot, 50 foot hose reel. So that's been really nice. So when we do go and we're working on a truck and we need to supply air to it, pull the hose back there, supply air to all the service brakes and everything. And that way, if you do need to use the dump valve or if the truck's inoperable, you can still get the air back in the bags 
and release the parking brakes. This panel, same thing. Got all new knobs on this side already. Blue for our wheel lift, red and green for our winches. And then we're gonna color code the caps on these winches and then put color co coordinated hooks on those uh, and clevises. We've got gray for the slew, the boom, boom in and out and then slew and then obviously boom up and down. Those are all gray. Got a couple of cup holders here. Can't go without coffee. This one, we've got more pins, clevises, more recovery equipment, and we put a bunch more hooks in here. That way we have plenty of space to store more equipment, tools. A couple trash cans, brake can holder, gloves, a little broom for some site cleanup. That one, not too exciting. This one, really happy with. Took us a little while to figure out something. This box is a C-Tech manufacturing. We've got our impacts up here, die grinders, cutting wheels. Do have a full set of air impacts, all that Carlisle. We got that, uh, our local Napa in Ellensburg. Travis, the owner there, supplied everything there, which was awesome. Um, again, cutting wheels, cut off. Uh, gear wrench tools, that's what this truck's outfitted with. It's mostly gear wrench stuff, gear wrench DeWalt, Carlisle. So up in the top, we've got various air fittings, uh, bolts for cage and brakes, safety wire for tying up drive lines duct tape, or excuse me, electrical tape, uh, zip ties for various things, caging break, uh, caging bolt sockets. Going down the drawer, we have all of our quick connects for um, all of our brake systems. So in here, we have all the different stuff for Volvo, Mac, ProStar, International, Pat Car, and then air dryers. So that way when we need to connect to the truck we're towing and release the brakes, we can do that without having to cage brakes on everything. Driveline sockets from SunX. Uh, more driveline sockets. Want to make sure, our goal with this truck was to make sure we have everything in it that we needed so we weren't having to run a service truck out to do something. We wanted all of our recovery equipment on here. Wilton hammers, we got all that stuff from our local Napa as well. Dead blows and then sledges. Again, the rest of that gear inch set we had bought, uh, various pliers, screwdrivers, full set of wrenches, and then we have extra bigger wrenches up here, up on the very top, but we've got all the way up to, I think, inch and nine sixteenths or inch and a half up there. And then down here, we keep all of our basic sizes for the day-to-day -day stuff. Put all of our metric sockets and extensions in here. So we've got 36 mil all the way down to four and a half. So pretty well outfitted. Allen sockets, impacts, uh, E-Torx and Torx, extensions, wobblies, three eighths, quarter and half inch drive, which is pretty bad. <coughs> then we've got all of our standard. So we've got ratchets, quarter, three eighths, half, in both flex head and fixed. And then we've got quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch again, all impact and then uh, standard sizing down here. So then down here, we've got inch and a half down to three sixteenths. So basically everything we're ever gonna need for sockets and everything there. So that drawer is pretty exciting because tools in bags just doesn't work that great. This side, pretty well outfitted again. Up top there, we've got our axle strap, ratchets, wireless tow mates. We've got six inch snatch blocks from Zips. These are eight ton. We've got four of those. We've got our big fifth wheel plate that we had powder coat uh, matched to everything else. That's also got a two inch adapter so where we can run various recovery points. More chains, we've got binders, two 20 ton air jacks from our local Napa as well. These are pretty awesome. That way when you do need to get under something or you need to jack something up, tire changes on big trucks. J hooks, extra air hose with a glad hand on there so we can connect air to the back. Big sledge and our cable for our wired light for our backup. Broom and shovel up top. Got those bungee cord up the top, stay out of the way. So this thing's pretty well outfitted.
came out really nice. We're super happy with it. So it's well organized. I'm sure we'll change little things as we go along, but I mean, even just down to little stuff we were trying to think of, it, you know, air chucks and everything we're going to need when we're out on the road, we're not having to worry about trying to go back to the shop and get something or um, anything like that. We just wanted it to be a seamless process. You get out on the road, you're efficient, you can get it done, you're not worried about calling and, hey, I don't have this or I don't have that. Like, we didn't want any of that. Um, up top, uh, it's probably kind of hard to see, but we've got some some dunnage up here. We've got kind of a dunnage tray set up here. We're not exactly how sure how we want to finish leaving all this. I think we're going to end up building a dunnage tray somewhere else on this truck and then uh, potentially moving these panels, these beauty panels out. I think we are going to try to move them out to here and then hide our garbage cans in here. That way they're not in the box. Uh, that way for fluid spills and things like that, we can hide all that on the truck that doesn't necessarily have to be in a box taking up valuable real estate and that way we can leave it somewhere else so little things here and there will probably get changed but i think for right now we're we're pretty happy with how it turned out it's been out on the road quite a few times already we've towed several semis several motorhomes with it um kind of maxing it out with some of the bigger motorhomes uh, you know you get up to a 39 40 footer and you're you know this thing's only rated to you know tow 32 33,000 pounds so um that's its max and you can't really run much more than that on the toe on the uh, tongue weight anyway so it's doing everything we need to and it's pretty well set up